Oh, hey there, <laughs> how are you doing? Today I will show you how to play How Have You By Hairs. This song was requested by all these people, thank you so much for your comments. Uh, first of all, as you might know, the band Hers died a couple of months ago in a car crash, which was really a tragedy. They were very kind people and they were also brilliant musicians, as you will also notice in the song. Yeah, I also wanted to do this video a lot earlier, but the song was quite difficult to figure out because it's a really brilliant song and quite difficult. So that's why I haven't done it earlier, because I thought it would be nice to honor their music and their talent in this way by teaching you one of their songs. I also have a guitar lesson on a different song by them, you can check it out as well. But yeah, I hope this video will be helpful to you. If you have any questions or song suggestions, leave them in the comments. So yeah, I will first show you how to play the song with the tabs and the chord diagrams over here. And then I will also explain the strumming pattern in a bit more detail and also show you the second guitar tab that you will hear in the verses of the song. So yeah, it might be a bit tricky at first, but I will dig into the more difficult parts after I play the whole song. So don't worry too much about it. I will show you how to play the song now and I hope everything will be clear. <laughs> So as you could see, that's how to play the song. Uh, they have quite some difficult parts since it's quite a difficult song. But uh, I will explain almost every part in a bit more detail to make it a bit easier for you. First of all the intro, which is also the chorus, which is this. That part, you know, the, the main part you could call it. Yeah, I will explain that first in a bit more detail. First of all it goes like this. 
And you might notice that when I'm doing the cover, I also add in some strums as well, but those are not really necessary. I'm not sure if you did it as well, but the most important strummings, the most important strums that you should get down is this. As you can hear, it really follows the singing melody, the vocal melody. And you can add in these these drums in between as well, like I'm doing like this. So. Like that. Um, it's really hard to show it in the tape, so that's why I'm explaining it to you now, like this. Uh, and then it goes. And as you might hear, I'm also playing this A, which you don't have to, but you can since it's you're really playing an A chord, so it's okay to put in this A string. Uh, don't play the E string. You can mute that one with your temp or not play it. So, and again, you can do or so adding this um, muted hit in between. So, so, and to do this muted hit, you have to. Hit the strings and then at the same time put your palm on the strings like And you can also just place your hand, mute the strings with your left hand like this. Or you can do it together like this. You can do that in between, not necessary, you can also just do... Since the song is already quite tough. So, so far we got this. And then... Again, it really follows the melody and the rhythm of the vocals. So. Alright, and then it goes back to the B minor 7 or B minor 9. And then. So. So. This is the same as you heard before, and then. So, so, and you do really have to use your pinky for this. You could also do it with your index finger, but that will be really difficult and unnecessary because you will only make it more difficult for yourself. So, I really recommend you to train your pinky a bit. It's really a this song really asks a lot of your pinky, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it really is necessary to to use your pinky so much. So there you go over here, and then this A major seven, and you can n don't um, how you say it, put your finger down on all the frets with your index finger, but only the the A string, so you can. Do this open E as well. So. And then. So as you can see in the tabs. Like that. That's really the main thing about it. The main parts of the intro. Of the intro and the verse. I will do it again slowly. Nice to do this. So first playing the chord without the E string and then playing the E string separately. So like that. So and then this is one part when it goes from the intro to the verses that goes like this, or from the chorus to the verses that goes like this. That really gets us into the verses, but I'm not even sure if you really play that as well. It might be a second guitar that's doing it, but it's it is possible to add in with the first guitar. It only goes a bit quickly or really quickly. Um, so 
light it. You have to slide that one. And then you have to imme immediately go to this chord, which might be really tricky. So it's not necessary to do it, you can also leave it out. When he was playing it live, he didn't really do this. But I think he does it in the studio version. So you can choose to edit in or not. Um, it's nice, but it's also quite fast. Then it goes to the verses, which is this. Which might be a bit less tricky than the intro and the chorus. Uh, yeah, the first chord is not too difficult. The strumming pattern is really this. So. Or. You can also just hit it twice, or you can do this. Or. And then. Like this. Which isn't too weird. It's not too difficult to go to that one. Then to the A major 7. Which is also not too difficult. And then you get to a bit of a tricky chord. Which you can play in a lot of different ways. So. There are two ways to do this. One of them is this one. So you play the chord like this. So by that you have to. Put your index finger on the, the D, the G and the B string and then place your middle finger and ring finger on the other two. And the other one is to do it like this. Then you also have to put your, then you can keep your pinky where it's at. So from the A major 7 to the, to this chord, I'm not sure what the name was again, but. And then also in, do this index finger thing with your index finger. So putting it on the D, the G and the B string and your middle finger on the E string and then keeping your pinky over there. So instead of this, you do this. Which might be a bit quicker of a transition between the A major 7 and this chord. So I like to do it like that. But you can also do it with your ring finger if you want to save your pinky a bit for the rest. And at the end he goes... So, just two strums. You also have your pinky in spot, so that's nice. So that's that. Now I will show you the solo or the bridge. I don't know how you can call it, but it goes like this. So I will play it slowly, it goes like this. And then, which might be a bit of a tricky chord, then this one is tricky as well. Um, you can play this E bass note, I'm not sure if it does it, but it fits in with the chord, so you can also do it. It's nicer to do it without, but if it's too difficult to also not do that, then you can also play the E note over here. But uh, it goes like this. Which is a difficult chord, so... And my ring finger is resting, so it's not on something. So you use your ring finger, your middle finger and your index finger for this chord. And then... You have to move this index finger two steps up and play those three notes, so... And you can play the full chord, so... You can see it in the tabs, hopefully, but it is, it is quite difficult. Then it goes, so, and then, so, and then, so, with your middle finger over here, and then, so. The last part is not too difficult, really the tabs speak for themselves. 
but coming from this one might be nice to slide your pinky a bit so instead of so I will do it again slowly Like that, this really shows how brilliant they were. It's really an amazing piece of music. So before I'm going to show you how to play the second part of the verses, I will show you how to play the outro of the song, which goes like this. So the beginning is the same as the verses. And then, so you play the chord and then slide this index finger, so. So. And then, and then play this chord. So. And this, um. So you have to play this chord twice, and the second time you slide this, like that. And that's the outro. Now I will show you the second guitar part of the verses. So that's how to play that, not too difficult, it goes like this. It might be a bit quick, but you just have to play it a couple of times, then you will get the hang of it. Uh, it's in the verses and it's also really following the melody of the vocals. So yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to say. I hope everything was clear, thank you so much for watching so far, and I really hope to see you the next time.